<laughs> well guys, officially in San Francisco. I'm like 20 minutes late. Feel a little bad about it. But we're here. Is this the door right here? Yeah, this is the door right here. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's good? All good? How you doing? Good. What is this? Get you a, once we, uh, once we have more space. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice though. You got the leaf. You got a stizzy battery. Um, we got so these J's are like my favorite ones right here. Do you need my card? Nah, come here real quick. Come on, come what's up to the vlog, bro? Oh, what's say what's up, what's up? My boy, Mr. THC vlog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, I had shit. Going around, so oh, you said. just got wet lips, bro. Nah! That's <laughs> 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 it, my bad. Yeah, this is yeah. the oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro, you wanna present yourself to the, to the channel, you know what I'm saying? If they haven't seen you and shit before. Oh, hell yeah, my name is Hugh Haha, you know, I'm on Instagram and shit, YouTube and shit, you know, I be fucking around with the jokes, you know what I'm saying? Damn near comedian, you feel me? Okay. Hey, nah, dead ass, you lit, bro. You gotta be watching this guy, man. Fool be cracking me up. Oh shit. Sorry, y'all. Just we can't be right in front of the oh, door. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just like, what you doing? you fucking it all up for everybody. Man, bro, I'm trying to get high, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right, man. But go check out my boy. Shit, I'm gonna have his Instagram on screen for y'all to go tap in. Watch his skit. Any new skits you working on? Shit, I got a couple. You feel me? When you uh, when you too real, you know what I'm saying? I got this one. See, I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a puddle of water, and then my boy walking, I'm gonna take out my sweater, put it, put it there, so he can walk over it. Oh, real one. You feel me? Yeah, you gotta take one for the homies. <laughs> for the one for the team. Guy, can you smoke this uh, from the dog? Inside? No, outside. Alright. <laughs> Damn, we can't smoke nowhere out here. We in San Francisco. I can't smoke there. I can't smoke here. Alright, man, the lonely stoner, I guess. You feel me? Hey, bro. Let me get a spare change. What you think it's doing out here, bro? Alright, y'all. One, two, three, two, three. Hi, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Take care. Yeah, nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you too, gang. Yo. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I know that I don't have much footage from that day. I think it was only like two or three minutes of footage. But I don't do even editing the video and putting the video together. I felt weird just realizing, realizing that that was the first and last time. I ever saw a bro, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I wish that if I would have known he was going through so much shit the day I met him, I would have tried to at least do do my part to try to encourage him to just, you know, try to like live through it and try to live to see another day. It really trips me out to even think about that day, just being inside that the Stizzy store. And like, if somebody would have told me, oh, from everybody here, one of you guys, you know, won't be breathing here in the next, like, couple days. I, I would have never imagined how that would have gone down and how it did go down. And it trips me out. I feel like I even my interaction with him, I, I didn't get to interact with him too much. The little bit I did interact with him, though, bro, made me laugh. I'll tell you that. Literally, like, the first couple words we exchanged, you know, bro, made me laugh. And um, he's from Stockton, California. I was actually born out in Stockton, California. So I know that Stockton isn't the prettiest place on earth. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty dangerous. It's not safe. It's a lot of things going on in Stockton. It's a lot of violence in Stockton. It's a hard place to come from. Like, like I said, I was just born there, but we left quick. My mom was like, yo, this place is dangerous. We got to get out of here, you know? And I think just meeting him, like, it sucks to see somebody that comes from nothing that was blowing up that could have and had so much, you know, like ability to be huge. I mean, he was already big, but I think he was like at the verge of like really, really blowing up, getting to the million, two million follower range and, and really being able to, you know, take his career off and stuff. And I think that comedians, they hide their pain in their comedy. You know what I'm saying? So deep down, he was probably going through maybe a lot of pain. And the comedy was like 
his way of exiting out. It kind of reminds me a lot of like when you hear Kevin Hart's comedy and how he kind of uses his childhood and how hard his childhood was and how his dad was with him. He kind of makes comedy out of it, like kind of like don't laugh at me, but laugh with me type of situation, you know. And I think a lot of comedians do that, bro. They have a lot of pain inside of them. And then they like, they use a comedy to try to feel better, try, uh, like try to make themselves feel better, try to make the people around them smile and laugh. And I think that makes them feel better, you know, like making people smile and laugh. And it's just sad to me, man. I just want to say RIP. I hope that like, I hope his daughter, you know, has a good long life. And, um, Again, I'm just posting this for documentation purposes. It's like trippy of me to know that it was the first time I met him and the last time I ever got to meet him or exchange words with him. And I tend to like erase a lot of the footage that are kept on my SD cards. I don't really keep SD cards around like that. So I feel like if I'm able to upload this video and the video gets to live forever, like that memory I had with him kind of gets to live forever, you know? But he made me laugh. We got in trouble like 10 seconds after that for being in front of that restaurant. And um, and yeah, besides that, we got to talk a little bit inside the store. Just kind of like small talk, asking him like how he started doing the skits and, and the videos and everything. And um, man, this video is so strange to film. R.I.P. to Huey, man. This one's for you. Um, I'm going to see if his GoFundMe link is still active. For anybody that wants to donate to him, if it's still active, then I'm going to throw it in the description of this video. And I threw his Instagram on screen earlier in the video. So you guys can go check out his skits. Get to see the work that he was able to put out, you know, before, before he left Earth. And uh, his YouTube, actually, I've been seeing a lot of the shorts. I never realized how many shorts he had uploaded and... He has a lot of shorts, you know, even in the video I filmed him, he was like, yeah, I got a new skit about being too real, like so real to your homies where I'm gonna put my, my sweater over a puddle for my homie to walk over the puddle, you know? And like, it's crazy, bro. I think he had a good heart, man. I think he had a really good heart. I think that life and pressure and everything we're going through, it, it's real, man. So check up on your people, take care of the people that you care about, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the people you care about are good. Call your family, call your friends, tell them you love them. Till next time.